This vlog is about my last day of study. I've also filmed the first day of the exam and I can't begin to describe the excitement as before me stand my last three days of student life. I've been studying for about two months and with some good takeaway food, even that passes like a soft breeze. You guys, it is quarter past 10, the 2nd of November and tomorrow will be the first of two days of the last state exam of medicine here in Germany. After that, on Friday, I will be a doctor. Tomorrow will look like this. At 9 a.m. we will go to the visceral surgery department of the university clinic. Uh, we will be taken to our patients, take their patient history, examine them, and then we have around three, three and a half hours to type down a discharge letter for the patient. And after printing out the discharge letter and handing it in, each student will have to examine their own patient in front of the professors for a 45 minutes. And of course, during all of that, we'll be asked questions. Uh, what does a critical limb ischemia look like what do you hear what do you see and after all of that is done the first day is over then on friday we will all be asked for another 45 minutes pure theory so that means that on friday it's all over med school will be over it's surreal it is time to sleep my clothes uh, are all ready i am prepared see you tomorrow it's exam day. Look, obviously I was a bit nervous. I hadn't had breakfast, but I had two espresso. So maybe that wasn't the smartest way to go about things. But when I saw the others, the feeling of camaraderie helped me cool down. And once we were picked up, it was game time. The professor told us the exam order and I was picked last. Hey guys, uh, so it's uh, 1 p.m. now and the first student has already went in with the professors. I'll probably be third or fourth, uh, but it's going really well. This is the, uh, this is the station that I'm working in, the department. Uh, so wish me luck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some money and buy uh, a piece of chocolate. Also, this is the view. That's one of the uh, first buildings that you will go to as a med student here. And yeah, that's the Gruger Park. Beautiful to chill in. Okay, but I, uh, I'm not too nervous. Kind of feel okay. So all good. All good. I just got a bottle of water here uh, in med. Uh, this guy, what's your name, man? My name is Enis. Yeah. Enis. And um, yeah, I'm working here as a um, nurse. When did you begin? Uh, one month ago. One month ago. Yeah. So you're still fresh and still have energy, right? <laughs> <laughs> also got a good view here. I think that's the ophthalmology department, right? Gynecology, all the way that back there. I'm slowly getting nervous. I think uh, I should go down. I wanted to buy a, a piece of chocolate somewhere. <laughs> so I think I'll, I'll go down man. I hope uh, I hope we meet. And in case you got any uh, questions, hit me up. Yeah. All right, man. Take care. Bye bye. That guy had some enthusiasm. Anyways, at this point I still hadn't eaten, so I had to grab some easy sugars in the canteen to keep the juices flowing. So, the great waiting started at 12:30 and every 45 minutes the next student in line was tested. All that waiting was boring, but it also gave me an important opportunity to get into the zone and clear my head. And at 3 p.m. It was my turn. That's the post-exam high right there. During the exam, I first introduced the patient with his patient history and the reason for his current stay. I examined the patient very thoroughly, which the professors appreciated, but they also told me to keep it short, especially when it came to the detailed neurological examination. It's approximately 5 p.m. and I'm done. I'm finished with the exam. I think it went... I think it went well, but because it is already 5 p.m., uh, I'll go to the library for max another one or two hours and and after that that should be enough back to the library change of plans i heard that the very first exam cohort had already finished their second day so i obviously went there and drank some champagne with them i couldn't have wished for better motivation for my second day stay tuned for part two